for hoarse blasts of a ship's whistle still raised the hair on my neck and set my feet to tapping. Syntax, my lad? It has been restored to the highest place in the Republic. These words dropped into my childish mind as if you should accidentally drop a ring into a deep well. I did not think of them much at the time, but there came a day in my life when the ring was fished up out of the well, good as new. I have owed you this letter for a very long time but my fingers have avoided the pencil as though it were an old and poisoned tool. I hate cameras. They are so much more sure than I am about everything. Sectional football games have the glory and the despair of war, and when a Texas team takes the field against a foreign state, it is an army with banners. The profession of book writing makes horse racing seem like a solid, stable business. I hold that a writer who does not passionately believe in the perfectibility of man has no dedication nor any membership in literature. No man really knows about other human beings. The best he can do is to suppose that they are like himself. It is true that we are weak and sick and ugly and quarrelsome, but if that is all we ever were, we would millenniums ago have disappeared from the face of the earth. I have never smuggled anything in my life. Why, then, do I feel an uneasy sense of guilt on approaching a customs barrier? Where does discontent start? You are warm enough, but you shiver. You are fed, yet hunger gnaws you. You have been loved, but your yearning wanders in new fields. And to prod all these there's time, the bastard time. I've lived in good climate, and it bores the hell out of me. I like weather rather than climate. The writer must believe that what he is doing is the most important thing in the world. And he must hold to this illusion even when he knows it is not true. You know how advice is. You only want it if it agrees with what you want it to do anyway. There are as many worlds as there are kinds of days, and as an opal changes its colors and its fire to match the nature of a day, so do I. Men do change and change comes like a little wind that ruffles the curtains at dawn, and it comes like the stealthy perfume of wild flowers hidden in the grass. Many a trip continues long after movement in time and space have ceased. Man, unlike anything organic or inorganic in the universe, grows beyond his work, walks up the stairs of his concepts, emerges ahead of his accomplishments. I've seen a look in dog's eyes, a quickly vanishing look of amazed contempt, and I am convinced that basically dogs think humans are nuts. John Steinbeck was an American novelist, short story writer, war correspondent, and the 1962 Nobel Prize in Literature winner. For his realistic and imaginative writings, combining as they do sympathetic humor and keen social perception, he has been called a giant of American letters. John Ernst Steinbeck Jr. was born at February 27th, 1902 Salinas, California, U.S. and died at December 20th, 1968 New York City, U.S. at the age of 66.